Welcome back, everybody, to some more Atlantic Fleet, ready to dive into Mission 19 here on the British Campaign. It's going to be the first time we face a enemy battleship. It's the Scharnhorst, along with a destroyer, the Z-31. We're going to take Nelson Revenge along with the Suffolk this time. Let's see what happens. Scharnhorst is going to get to fire first. Looks like she's going after the Nelson. Not too worried about the guns from the destroyer. Okay, so Nelson gets to move first. Let's go ahead and take a look at our map. See the situation as it exists. And uh, I'm actually pretty content with the angle we're at. I think I'm going to turn a little bit though. Make sure we get that third turret ready to fire. Z-31's out front. I'm going after the Sharn Horse right off the bat. I want to nail this thing as quickly as I possibly can. All right. 15.9. Let's go 16. Wasn't bad. Wasn't a bad first shot at all. I'm gonna turn hard here with the uh, with the revenge. Not enough to get the rear turrets firing though. Elevation more than 20. They can't be that far away, are they? Let's go 19.6. Yeah, see, that was actually pretty good. All right, pretty happy with that. We landed shots our first time out with both of them. I'm going to try to get some torpedoes in the water. All right, uh, we out of range. Yeah, we're out of range. Should we try the airstrike thing again? I guess we can. I'm probably still going to be terrible at it, but let's give it a try anyway. Oh, and we got shot down. Really? Just like that, huh? <laughs> All right, he's got some pretty, uh, pretty nasty anti-aircraft on that thing. All right, that failed miserably. Well done. Don't mess with the Scharnhorst. Lesson learned. All right, 16 degrees. We actually hit him last time at 16. Or at, uh, yeah, 16. Why would we actually go to 17.6 now? I don't quite understand that. If anything, we're closer. I'm gonna go down to 15 now. Yeah. Beautiful. 17 would have been a horrible mistake. Okay. 19.6 was a little far. 16.9 this time. This time we get all the guns. That was way short. Good news is Sharn Horse is on fire already. I'm going to go after the destroyer. And let's use HE. Nice, nice. Good start. on the Nelson. Eh, just one. Not too bad. Oh, 
Ooh, I got a fire going on me there. All right, let's go a little forward this time. I feel like 14.6 is too close. Let's go down to about 15. Points. Lovely. Alright, this time we're going to aim a little bit to the rear. Yeah, 16.9 was way too short. I feel like about 18 is probably the sweet spot. Nice. Alright, let's see if we can take out this destroyer. Yeah, a little shorter. There we go. Nice. Go down. Go down. Charmer Horse is going to take a beating before she goes down. That's for sure. Let's just hope she doesn't nail any really lucky shots on either of my battleships in the meantime. Nelson's on fire. Alright, 15.1 was pretty good last time. We'll, we'll keep it right at 15.0 this time. I'm going to go a little bit forward. Let's turn a little bit. 18.0. Now we're saying 18.7. Didn't we hit him last time? Oh, maybe not. We were a little short. How about 18.5? Alright, torpedo time. We're still a little too far out. We're 16,000. I guess that's a little far for torpedoes. Let's go AP shells. Bye-bye. Oh, that was beautiful. Now we got to continue going after the big boy. That thing went pretty much straight down. Now it's going down. Stern first. Ooh! It landed one hit on the Nelson there. I want to try and see if we can get an ammo detonation on this thing. Now we're saying 14.1. Let's go 14.2. Eighteen five was a little long, so now we're going. Let's go seventeen six. Wonder what the damage is like right now on this thing. Let's take a look. Wow, really not a, not that much damage. A little disappointed by that actually. Be careful, we're kind of turning into the other ships. Um, yeah, I'm not sure how much 8 inch shells are going to do, but we'll do it. Maybe we'll fire HE, maybe cause some fires on the 
Oh, Nelson. Nah, it wasn't too bad. We gotta turn Nelson back a little bit so we get out of the path of the other, or of the Suffolk. Let's go at the rear of the Sharon horse this time. Where was 17.6? That was actually really close. I feel like 17 would be a little short. How about 17.4? Alright. Just turn this way. Woo! Right, right next to the Nelson. Alright, we'll try to see if we can at least cause some fires on this thing. I'm not sure we're gonna penetrate much with these medium shells. Long. Ah, well, we got one hit. Man, he's just been going after Nelson the whole time. Little success. Now we're saying 13.3. 14.2 was pretty much dead on. I mean, I guess we are a little closer. I don't think we're that much closer. How about 13.7? Nice. Okay. Dropping just a little bit. Nice. How are we doing now on damage? All right, now now they're starting to take some damage. Their B, B turret looks like it's pretty much out of commission. That's good news. Yeah, we need to shorten this out a little bit. Turn away now. Yeah, you see the B turret's not even firing. Yeah, that's really good news. So we knocked out about a third of their ability to fire on me. Let's get a little further away. Uh, 13.7. Yeah, we'll keep it at 13.7. Actually, we're keeping everything right about where it is. I've, ni I've hit him pretty much with every salvo. I haven't really missed a whole lot. I'm going to turn. I'll try to go in for a torpedo shot if I can. This is going to be long. I forgot to change the aim. I guess we got a couple of hits. Oh! Now they're going after Su Suffolk. Which makes total sense. It could end up being a problem for me. Yeah, that's pretty good there. Alright, how are we doing on damage now? Looks like she's starting to take on some water. I want to take a look at their damage situation. Yeah, main spot, four spot, main radar, four radar. B turrets out. And aircraft's out. Propulsion's damaged. Alright, we're in pretty good shape here.
to try and take out another turret. Still got a hit. Hey, there's an explosion. Wonder what that was that exploded that time. Let's see. And nothing major change, really. Um, I want to go after these turrets here. Drop it down a little bit. Oh, nice! Now what are we gonna see? Man, the things just tore up in the center. We took out the A turret. Beautiful. So that leaves them with only one working turret now. Let's see if we can take that last one out. I think it's the C turret. A little short. I don't think we're at the place where we can do torpedoes yet. Yeah, still a little long. turret now baby and their radar is out so they're having a rough time I mean I don't know how much they need radar from this distance but let's go after that sea turret not quite yet She goes. Charn horse is down. Lovely. All right, she may take a while to sink, so we're gonna move on. That was thirty-five thousand tons right there, almost all of it on the Charn horse, thirty-two thousand. So that's beautiful. Medium damage on the Nelson, really, and Suffolk took heavy damage, even though it was really only one salvo they took. But uh, that's understandable. So where's that put us now, in terms of? Renown, 74,000. Excellent. Okay, let's move on to mission number 20. There are a total of 50 missions in the British campaign. So let's see what we're up against in mission 20. Okay, actually, this is pretty nice. I don't need to spend anything additional here. Got the Königsberg, Karlsruhe, uh, two light cruisers, a couple torpedo boats, a um, couple of large freighters. Uh, we should make pretty quick work of them with these three. So this will actually be a nice little hunting mission for us here. Good chance to just practice our fire firing ranges and things like that. So I'm going to go after the light cruisers first. 18.4. Let's go 18.3, see what happens. Oh, we overshot the light cruiser, but managed to land a hit on one of the transports. Well then. Maybe I, you know what, I might have accidentally clicked on the transport, and it gave me that range instead, since they were at the same bearing. That was long. 
very long. Kind of landed in between the two. This is actually a good opportunity for torpedoes because there's so many targets out there. I don't have any torpedoes on there. I thought for sure I did. Airstrike, can we try this again? Let's give it a go, shall we? So this time it's about bombs. And not rockets. How do we do? Way off. Oh, way off. Alright, well, again, these are things I need to learn. And I definitely need to learn them quickly. Oh, he launched an airstrike. Look at you. Get that out of here. All right, let's light these guys up in a hurry here. Oh, another airstrike. Ooh. Bye bye. I don't know, there's something satisfying about watching ships sink and watching planes crash. Not in real life, mind you, but in a game, definitely. Wow, lots of airstrikes. What's the lesson, kids? Don't launch airstrikes when there's battleships. They shoot them down pretty much every time, on both sides. There we go, Königsberg, 13.6. Oh, holy cow, that was short. Obscenely short. Thirteen point one. Let's go thirteen two, see what happens. Also obscenely short. I should have learned from what the other one did. Okay, AP shell, let's go after this destroyer. With HEs. 20 degrees. A little long. Hopefully, they don't get torpedoes in the water. That's my main concern. It's really my only concern because these guys don't have guns that can really do anything to me. Air strikes again. He's gonna get a bomb on me. Oh boy. And he hit me with it too. Nailed the revenge. Right, can we shoot this guy down? Thank you. Let's have a little more success this time, shall we? We were way short at 13.5. Now we're way long again. Oh my gosh. Just having a heck of a time with the range. 15.3. I'm going to go about 15.1. That was better. Still a little long, though. And we were way long at 20 degrees, so we're going all the way down to 15.7 now.
which is way short. But next time out, it might not be because of how close he's going to be. Maybe just a little bit longer than that. Man, did I take a lot of damage from that bomb? I don't know how heavy that bomb was. One single shell bounces harmlessly in the water. Alright, we should have taken these guys out by now. At least the cruisers. Okay, 13.3 is what we're saying. Which seems awfully short. When we did 13.5, it was here. Yeah, that seems short. I want to go about 14.5. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Alright, how's our damage? Yeah, we did take some damage to the pumps, to the, oh, to the anti-aircraft. <laughs> oh, that's lovely. Oh, I didn't even think about the fact that we gain experience points on these things. That's cool. Alright, that one's down. Let's go after this one. Okay, 15.7 was short. I feel like it wouldn't be so much now. Let's go 16. Oh! <laughs> We're going to be able to buy a nice ship after this because even though none of these are a real threat to me, there's a lot of tonnage here. Cumulative. Between what I got last time and what I'm going to get here. I feel like I ought to be able to purchase something nice. That freighter that I only hit one time is still getting lit up. Uh, no, I don't want the freighter. I want the other cruiser. There we go. Now right, we got one hit. Everything else was a little short. Fifteen point one. Go down. Let's finish this destroyer, shall we? 15.6. We were a little tiny bit short at 15.6. But he's probably closer since then. And we got a couple hits. Most of them were long, though. One more hit on this light cruiser ought to finish him. Silly destroyer. And it still looks like revenge is listing. That bomb really, really did some damage. Alright, time to finish this guy. We're saying 13.4, but I hit him at 14. I think they were a little long, though. Let's go down to 14 exactly. Yeah, see, we're definitely listing to starboard. Um, 
13.8. Let's go 14. Nice. But still not finished. What do we got left? There's two torpedo boats. Okay. Actually, that other one's a little closer to me. They're coming in for a torpedo shot. All right. Wait a second. I don't remember getting a notification that we sank that one. But alright. I'm not going to complain about it. Do we not have the angle on this guy? Is that the problem here? No, we do. Okay, 11.9. One shell ought to do it, but they're all long. Uh. Let's go after the other one. Can you imagine being on one of those ships and being fired on by battleship like that with its main guns. I mean, I, don't, I doubt it would happen because the secondaries would probably do the job there. Oh, look. How cute. Uh-oh. What just happened? That was strange. Getting a little glitching going on there. Alright, 11.9 was long. Let's go 11.4. Bye-bye. Oh, he's moving toward me. What am I thinking? That Still waiting. Well, I went back and watched a little bit of the recording, and apparently what I was complaining about is the glitch. did not happen on the recording, but it happened on my screen, so I don't know what that's all about. But we'll continue on. All right, so this guy is moving toward me as well. So I think we need to go down to maybe about 12.8. There it is. Bye-bye. Fourteen point oh, now eleven point four. Now yeah, we got one hit, but not much to show for it. That's all right. Our battleships will do the job here. And then somebody said there's an automatic button for just dealing with um, unarmed transports once everything else is taken care of. So we'll we'll figure that out and do that. Once we're done here, all right. Eleven point four was long. Let's go ten point five. Oh, still way long. Darn it. Eight point five. A little short. But 8.5 will probably be pretty good next time.
Oh, he's turning away a little bit. There, he's getting his torpedoes in the water. Yeah, well. It's not going to matter when I blow you out of the water. Oh, we got to fire right over our other battleship. This will be interesting. But that's not an issue. I mean, it probably would be in real life. Let's start turning just to be safe. Ah, uh, one's not going to be enough. Or maybe, <laughs> with a secondary explosion, it will be. Is he going down? Yeah, he is. Bye bye. Okay, so what we have left is one large freighter. Which I don't appear to be seeing a button to be able to just eliminate that. So we'll just fire on it, see if we can take it out. Still got torpedoes in the water. And I am a little concerned about that for the revenge. Who's gonna hit all stop and start turning along with the. Nelson. Oh boy, we're gonna fire. I hope this doesn't cause damage here. Doing this. Oh, wow, that was close. That was so close. I'll stop. Let's turn. Nineteen point one. Might be a hit. Can we do it now? No, we can't. Okay. Alright, we were pretty close last time. It's a little short this time. I'm actually still kind of in danger from the torpedoes. I gotta sink this guy. Eighteen point seven. We were one hundred and fifty yards short. I don't think we need to go all the way to twenty-two. Although he has moved a little bit since. Then. Let's go twenty and a half. Pretty good. Probably need to be sh switching to HEs. Uh, 19.2. We were short last time and he's moved away. Why would we go shorter this time? There's a hit. Nice. Awesome. All right. So that's another 36,000 tons. So let's go out of here. We've got 111, almost 111,000 renown now. Uh, what are we going to be facing next time? Oh, even better. It's still nothing I really got to worry about a whole lot. Uh, before we wrap this up, let's go ahead and take a look at what's available. Because we can pretty much buy anything now. What's the most expensive ship there is? We've got a King George the Fifth. That would be fantastic. 
got those quads going. Uh, Prince of Wales, Duke of York, same thing. Uh, we got a nor oh North Carolina would be nice. Not as well armored. They've only got 12 inches of belt armor, which concerns me a little bit. What else do we have? Oh, these are 150,000 right now. So I can't buy quite everything yet. There's the hood. Well, we all know how that ended up. Um, we do have aircraft carriers, which are only 45,000 right now. Illustrious is 54. I don't know. So let me know what you think. What should we buy next? We can buy just about anything. Use the comment section below and let me know your thoughts. And uh, drop a like if you would. Subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll be back again.